Okay, fifth and final tool I have is to stop labeling everything anxiety. When I say everything, I mean all emotions that we don't love. And, and that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I just wanted it to fit on my slide. We don't label everything that, but anxiety is such a buzzword. Notice I've used it probably seven times <laughs> throughout this 30 minutes I've been talking to you because we call everything anxiety just because it's something we become aware of. And sometimes it is anxiety, but let me give this example. So when my daughter was in like second or third grade, she went to school and they taught a presentation on bullying. And she came home and said, mom, I learned about bullying today. I learned what a bully is. And I learned how important it is to not bully kids and what to do if you're being bullied. And so bullying was the hot word at the time. And for many years after that, she would come home from school and say, mom, I got bullied today. I was like, you did? What happened? And, and she'd say, well, they were picking groups. And this kid said, well, I don't want Macy in, in our group. I was like, well, that wasn't very nice. I'm sorry that happened. I don't know if I'd label that bullying necessarily. I think that was just a kid kind of being a little bit too honest and not very nice. And I'm so sorry that happened. But because bullying was the label in her mind, she started labeling everything bullying, right? And that's a little bit what we've done with anxiety. When I go speak to youth, the word anxiety always comes up. And I do think that we have a lot of you struggling with anxiety, but I also think a lot of them are just labeling it that. And then again, thinking, see, this is a problem. I need to fix it. So if somebody says to me, whether it be one of my kids, a youth I'm talking to, or no, a friend of mine even, I have anxiety, I say, what's going on? And a lot of times they'll describe to me, well, I have a big project due at school, or I have finals, or I have whatever, I didn't make the team. And I sometimes offer a different label. I'll say something like, well, it sounds like you're just really disappointed. It sounds like you have stress. It sounds like you have um, overwhelm. It sounds like you're fearful. And is that true? And <clears throat> the only reason I do that is I think that we all, we have a lot of baggage around the word anxiety, and I'm trying to minimize some of that for them. And I think that increasing our emotional vocabulary and having more words to go to than just anxiety can be useful. Um, I have a quote here from Psychology Today. Uh, talking about our need to increase our emotional vocabulary. It says, the earlier we can recognize the signs in our bodies, in other words, the feelings in our bodies, as feelings that need to be expressed, and the better we become at accurately identifying them, the better our chances at learning how to manage them. So there's a whole bunch of data and research out about this today, that if if I can more accurately label that negative emotion what it truly is, I, I become more empowered around it. 